Welcome to MyFoodChannel.com. I'm Camera Girl. Today we're making quick carrot muffins. They are delicious. We're just going to mix a bunch of dry ingredients together, a bunch of wet, and then look at my handy dandy. That's huge. Can the huckleberry fin go down the uh, Mississippi on that? Don't be intimidated. You do not have to have that to make quick carrot muffins. Well, this is the same recipe they use for carrot bread, isn't it? Yeah, if you if you like um, zucchini bread or pumpkin bread, it's very similar. It's carrot, which means it's a little sweeter. And any of those breads you can turn into muffins. But I just think it just makes them, um, they're very moist because of the carrot. And you don't have to use as much oil as a lot of recipes. So it is similar, Buck. Yeah, but you are camera boy. <laughs> You already grated up your carrots. Yeah, I did do some of the hard stuff. I say hard stuff. That's the worst part is I didn't do that with a food processor. I did it by hand. So let's get going because these are supposed to be quick, quick. Here is sugar. Yes, this is just sugar. All of that. Well, okay. Full disclosure, I started mixing. This actually has a little bit of the flour if you look at the... Spoon. Okay, so it's not this much sugar because that looks like a lot of sugar. It does, doesn't it? But what happened was Chef Buck gets very irritated with me if I've already mixed my ingredients together. Well, I was just on well, autopilot. We're, we're making a cooking video. You don't... You don't... All-purpose flour. So you're mixing together all your dry ingredients. That is right. We've got some rolled oats. Not quick. Just rolled oats. And then last but not least, we've got some salt, we've got some baking soda, and some cinnamon. And again, on the recipe blog, we'll give you some other ideas. Of course, you can experiment, you can add some cardamom, you can add some apple spice. Just get this distributed. Just take a second, mix things up. So we're just going to put that aside. We're going to get together some wet ingredients. Let's see if we can do it like Chef Buck. We've got some eggs that ideally you want to leave them out for a little bit. It's nice when they're room temperature. They're a little easier to work with. But again, this is quick muffin. If you don't have time for that, don't worry about it. It does take three eggs. And aren't these gorgeous eggs? Beautiful yolks. Whip up your eggs just a little bit until you start getting a little bit of bubbles. Just like 20 seconds or so. And that's it. They're a little easier to work with. Other ingredients can... can when you start getting a couple of bubbles, you know you sort of loosened up the yolks a little bit. So to the eggs, I'm going to add a little bit of milk. We are going to add some oil. Voila. Okay, a little more oil. And yes, a little more oil. And of course doesn't love vanilla in a dessert? Vanilla flavoring, even in your coffee. It's just so great. So we're just going to add a little bit. So we're just going to mix this stuff together. All right. The other nice thing is this isn't like a fancy cake. You don't have to do it in thirds. You just drop that bad boy in there. Just want to play around with this to wet the dry ingredients. You want to be gentle with your batter. So all I'm trying to do is pretty much wet it. Not 100% because we've got to add in our carrot and our walnut. So once everything is sort of kind of wet, and you see there's still some stuff on the outside, that's okay because we have one more addition. We're going to go ahead and add a hunk of hunk of burning carrot and then mm, <laughs> walnuts. People who don't like nuts in their muffins, they're nuts. So again, all we want to do is distribute the ingredients pretty evenly. And at first it seems like, oh my gosh, really that many carrots? But yeah, it takes it in and it does add moisture and some sweetness. These are really delicious muffins. Okay, so we've got it together and that's it. You don't want to overmix. And then I'm just going to use a measuring cup to start filling up the tins. Depending on the size of your tins and how much you fill up each one, you know, you might get 20, you might get 16. 
if you have empty muffin tins and you're going to put it in an oven, even though 350 is not that hot, put a little bit of water, just like halfway, not where you're, you have to be super, super careful when you put it in the oven, but this keeps these other tins from warping. We've got our oven preheated at 350, and because it's muffins and not bread, we're going to check it after about 15 minutes, but they're probably going to take 20 to 25 minutes to cook. It, again, just depends on your oven and how big your tins are, how much you fill them up. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, it's been cooking at 350. And again, every oven's a little different. Let's take a look. So we need to check them for doneness, especially in the middle. I've got a toothpick. You can use a knife. And I'm going to go for one of the muffins in the center. They might have taken a little longer to cook, and one of the taller ones. So let's just get right here. Just going to put him down in the middle, all the way down to the bottom. Bring him back up slowly. Now, you might see a tiny, tiny crumb, but basically, it's clean. If it wasn't done, which we could have done it five minutes earlier, you'll see a little bit of dough come out. Not big globs, but you'll see some, and you just say, okay, leave it in there another couple minutes. Don't leave it another 10. You're just going to have to watch it. These are done. That's it. So what I like to do is so they don't get soggy on the bottom, is I like to get them out of the tin and onto a cooling rack. Now, of course, Chef Buck is a manly man, and he'll do it with his fingers. I think a knife is just fine. So how soon can we eat these? Well, you could eat them right away. If you try to take one of these out of their wrapper, you're probably going to have a little more sticking to the side yeah. than you will in a minute. Now, you're going to have some sticking anyway, but because it's so hot, you're going to have more sticking to the wrapper. So my suggestion is to let them cool at least 30 minutes. But I would, within the first five minutes of getting them out of the oven, I'd get them out of the pan because there's already a lot of moisture. You can see a little bit of wrinkle. There's already a lot of moisture in these muffins. With the heat, they're just going to get a little more soggy. So just get them out. Let them cool off. We don't need to eat them for 30 minutes. What do you think? Is he going to wait? So I'll just have to split one with him. Right now? Sure, why not? Okay. Sounds like, yeah, you're the one that can't wait. Well, maybe, but I'd rather blame it on you. It's not sticking too bad. It's not terrible, but the bottom is where I think we're going to have a little more. We'll see. Maybe the muffin gods will be with us. See, I'm going to scrape a little bit. Eh, that's not too bad. See if you give it a little help. We are experts and eating things as quickly as possible. Surprise, surprise, you're back in front of the camera. Yeah, this is the opposite of when I uh, make a cooking video, you gotta wait. Exactly, till everything's cold. Yeah. Just wait, get is your bike. Is on there? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's good, it's yeah. moist and... Well, it's not overly hot. Okay. I love it with a little whipped cream cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what do you think? You know I love these. They're very dense. It is like zucchini bread, carrot bread. It's uh -huh. got that texture. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm eating it all. I was going to say, just hold on. Come get the camera, buddy. Hey, yeah. hey, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Look at him. You, you are unbelievable. It just happened. I just started eating and I didn't stop. Yeah, surprise, surprise. So thanks for watching. Go to myfoodchannel.com and you can check out the recipe. You can check out all of our recipes over there. Ding, switch. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to say at this point. But thanks for watching. We appreciate reading the comments. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>